Now, take it you all know what this is. Come out of Adam's treasure box he brought me all night. It has a drill where it's carpenter's brace. And it was well rusted up, but it's all there. And in the box over there, I've got the old fashioned type hand drill with two speeds, but the wood's missing. I thought, well, these make nice ornaments, don't they? So I thought, I'll clean it up. Anyway, last night I came up and uh, I thought I'll just uh, soak it a bit to get it free. Anyway, there was no need. And I forgot, of course, about this. Right, carb cleaner. Brilliant stuff. In fact, of modern day inventions, I would say that and these, flat discs, have to come very near the top. So instead of having to soak it and struggle for hours, I did 10 minutes and look, it just wants a quick clean up. That was absolutely seized up and it's now free. So when I've finished, a drop of light oil on there and that wants a bit of a clean up in there. I'll do that with my wire brush. I won't show you it all. Well, in fact, I won't show you any of it. I've got to do it with my drill and wire brush. But, uh, and then, I'm sure one of my friends has got an old bit with the four things. Or if not, I can, I'll can i buy one at Carrington, you know. Because it's got to be a nice ornament, isn't it? I think it's going to be worth it. So we're just going to, um, I thought we'd have a change today. I've done plenty of rings. And I've nearly worn my things out. So that wants to clean up. So all I'm going to do is clean it up and oil the wood and uh, we'll see what it looks like later. As I say, I won't, you know about cleaning up, you know, you know about wire brushing. Talking of which, <laughs> on, uh, I don't want to share anything, but on Facebook there was someone put up a thing about tools, which I thought was very funny. So just now I've I've actually uh, I copied it. So what I'll do, I'll only leave it up ten seconds, and then if you want, if you're interested, you can stop the video and have a look at it. So we'll do that. Right, I'll get on and do this. Well, I'll just show you where I've got to. Got the thicky stuff so far. And I used uh, that wire brush in my drill, with it held in the vise and round, and then I put that small one in and I've just done that little bit there and it's come quite good so I've got to keep twisting it round of course do it all but uh, we're getting there that's the main thing isn't it so look looking better already isn't it eh? and a little bit of oil on there and there and here and it, it's all going to work quite well you know like I said it's only an ornament but uh, well worth doing yeah. Right. We better do a bit more. Right, I've come over in the bit of natural light to show you it. There we are, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Yeah, actually I'm lying, it was. <laughs> I found that little um, brass wire brush which seemed to do a better job. So I cleaned it up first uh, with the steel one in the vise. Got the thickest off and then went over it with that brass one and it's been very difficult to get in all the little corners and I have found a number on it which um, you can't see on this camera obviously but you may in a blurry thing be able to see it so when I next get my glasses on I'll read it to you but that's the only markings that I can find on it so there you are. Anyway, right, I've just got the chuck to clean up and do. I'll get that done. And then we'll just sand the bits of wood. See so there's some nice little roller bearings in there. So it's quite a nicely made thing, isn't it? Oh, we finally got there. My neck. And downstairs and 
Got the rust off my hand and blow my nose and got half it out my nose. <laughs> right, all that's left to do is give this a quick rub over. Just had a little look, it shouldn't take very long at all. Just quickly give it a quick sand off, then we'll linseed oil it all and it'll be done. So I would say it's been well worth it. But uh, as I say, it's only an ornament. And uh, it would have been nice to have had a bit, wouldn't it? I mean, that's something you don't know. Well, of course you know. Um, you'll have forgotten. At home, at the blacksmiths, we live next door to the carpenters. And so, from I was, well, <laughs> forever, six months old, I lived there. So, work it out. And I often spent lots of my childhood at the carpenters. And one of the reasons... I can drill straight and do woodwork is because, of course, I was taught to do this from a very early age. You know, they, uh, my father showed me metal work and the carpenters showed me woodwork, so there you go. But it all works, it's cleaned up all right. And uh, this is actually, it's just a bit of like oily stuff coming off, it's coming all right. I don't want to. Uh, I'm not overdoing it. I'm not going to town on this tub. It makes it look like new, obviously. You just want to make it look clean and it's an ornament. And then sometime I'll probably find time to hang it up somewhere. I don't know where. We'll have to see, won't we? So you might see it in uh, future videos somewhere when I get this done. The handle's a bit split, but I'm not worried about that, as I say. Only an ornament. And, uh, oh, I, I know what I've got to do before I oil it up. I must just take it out. There's a bit there that I can use. And uh, read you those numbers. That's what I've got to do, isn't it? Before I forget. And then somebody, I haven't looked, you know, I've been downstairs and had a quick break, coffee break. And I've, uh, as I say, I haven't looked yet for any numbers or anything, but I was hoping it would say Stanley on it, but it doesn't. So, we don't know. Now, next thing, what are we doing with glasses over behind me? It'll take me half an hour to find them. It does, however, oh dear, look at this. I mean, dust on, I can't see through them again. Oh, some oil on there, never mind. These are only the pound chop ready readers, but they're handy size. Right, let me see if I can read you this number out, if I can find it again. It's here. Go upside down, I think. Oh, hang on. There's a number somewhere. Now I've got it cleaned up properly. It's something, something, no, no, made in England, right? I can read it properly now. I, I did have a look before, there's a number on the other side. Right, it says made in England on there. And uh, like I said, you won't be able to read it, but I'll bring it near enough. And the other, it's the other side's got the number on. I hadn't cleaned that side up. And on here it says, I think that's a C. 196 dash no an arrow oh it's um it's got the military arrow on that's what that is and then it's 1952 so it says there c 196 then it's got the military arrow on, uh, 1952, so I think that's all right. Cheers, Adam. Chuffed with that. Oh, got an oil hole there I've not, uh, I've not got out, so I'll, I'll do that afterwards. You know, rather than stop and start again. We're nearly at the end, aren't we? So I've got some linseed oil here. 
and we'll just give it a quick coat of that. I like that's what I like about woodwork and things like this. It does a good job and it doesn't take long. And uh, the wood of course you can give a good oiling. You've seen that on lots of yeah, you know, all my woodworking videos. Like I said, it doesn't want anything else. It doesn't. And I'm sure, in, even in this light here, you can see that that's actually come quite nice, hasn't it? That handle has. Need a bit more around here. Look, I'll do that in a minute. I'm not doing it all. I'll not do it with a lot, but it doesn't take many seconds to do. Put plenty on. That's why the thing's split, because wood, of course, and everyone knows this, that's why it, get, it dries out, wood does. So if I was to uh, really be bothered with this, all I've got to do is just come up and oil this every day for a week or two, and you'd find that that split there would actually almost close up. Not absolutely, but if you just keep doing it, we've had, you know, years ago, as I said, and Carl did woodwork. So, we've oiled that up. So, I'll just do this little bit there, and this bit round here, just to show you the end result, because it's, uh, it's come good, actually, very good. So I've just got that, I found an oil hole that I didn't notice before, so I've just got to clear that out. And uh, it is, it's a, it's a well made thing this is. So there you go, that's it, finished look. Well, not quite finished is it, but I'll finish it slightly later. There you are, that'll stop it going rusty again, just got all the chucking that. I've got to just get the jaws in there and I'll take that off again and just oil that and make sure that goes in. And this all works, look, now. So it goes both ways, you see. So the ratchet works or you can lock it. I'm sure you know how these work. Or you can go the other way. Right, so you can wind it both ways. So the whole thing works nicely. Right. I'll call that a good job. You can call it what you like. Right. Well, thanks a lot anyway. And we'll uh, sum in a little bit different in it. From me, rings and clocks and all the rest of it. I think we might see something else soon. Got one other little bit, whole bit to do that you might be interested in. And that's it. Right. As I say, thanks a lot. We'll catch up with you in a bit.